Go to page 398 in your books. You guys know the decibel scale? You don't know what the decibel scale is? Like the scale that tells you how loud something is or how quiet something is? Have you heard of that? No? Yes? No? Some? There's this scale called the decibel scale that tells you how loud something is, right? The human ear is sensitive to a large range of sound intensities. Scientists have found that the sensation of loudness can be described using a logarithmic scale. The intensity level beta in decibels of a sound is defined as beta equals 10 log i over i naught, where i is how intense the sound is that you're hearing. Um, and its units are watts per square meter. And I naught is the faintest sound that a person can hear, which is 10 to the negative 2 watts per square meter. So this is just like a constant to uh, give you some kind of reference point to how intense your sound is. So this is 10 to the negative 2 watts per square meter, which is pretty, pretty soft. Okay. A. Audiologists recommend that people should wear hearing protection if the sound level of the thing that they're near exceeds 85 decibels. Okay? The sound level of a chainsaw is pretty much 85 decibels. So you should wear ear protection when you're using a chainsaw. Or at a rock concert. Or at a rock concert, yes. Mm. I am in favor of that because I do not like them. Ah, jerk. It's so loud, man. Like your clothes shake and your ears hurt. It's awful. The maximum volume setting of a portable media player with headphones is 110 decibels. That's louder than a chainsaw. Turn your music down. How many times as intense as the sound of a chainsaw is the maximum volume setting of the portable media player? Okay. So just to give you some clarification, we're comparing the intensities of those sounds. Okay, that's um, this value right here, I. So I'm going to need to do some algebra so that I have the intensity of the uh, headphones. I'll just put H. Compared to or divided by the intensity of the chainsaw. This is eventually what I want. Follow that? I want to know how many times greater is the intensity of the headphone sound to the intensity of the chainsaw sound. Chainsaw's pretty loud. Chainsaw's pretty loud. Okay? So we're going to solve that. The way we do that is we first find the difference between the decibel readings of those two objects. Okay? So we're going to take the decibel reading of the headphones and subtract that from the decibel reading of the chainsaw. Okay. <clears throat> Since beta is equal to 10 log i over i naught, I could rewrite that as 10 log the intensity of the headphones compared to i naught minus 10 log the intensity of the chainsaw compared to i naught. With me? Okay. We're still using IH, but we're going to I naught now? I naught is always in the bottom. It's a constant that's in the bottom, regardless of what sound you're using. Okay. okay. This I up here is the intensity of the object. So this is the intensity of the uh, headphones, and this is the intensity of the chainsaw. And this is just like a reference point, I naught. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the decibel reading for... Uh, the headphones was 110, the chainsaw was 85, and that's still equal to this mess over here. I was wondering that too when I was looking at this, but the reason why is because you want to compare the intensities 
of those two sounds. We want to do some algebra so that we have this expression. How many times greater is the intensity of the headphones compared to the intensity of the chainsaw? Well, so That's what we want. We'll be able to do it eventually. Yeah. You see it now, right? So this is a difference of 25. You guys, are, you guys are like my sleepiest class. Come on, wake up. Okay. Still with me? Okay. What can I do with these two logarithms since they both share the same base? And I'm subtracting. I can combine them and divide these two arguments, right? So this would be 10 log... Actually, to show all of my work, I should factor 10 first out of both things. That'll make it a little more formal. And then I'll divide them. Okay, so I have 25 equals 10 log IH over I0 times I0 over I chainsaw. Do you get why I did that? No. Should I back up? Okay, I'll back up. Divided by I C over I naught. Yeah, that's what I did. I did flip and multiply. Okay, flip and multiply. This is nice because I don't even have to worry about using 10 to the negative 2 in any of my calculations. Those just cancel, right? So that gives me 25 equals 10 log IH over IC. This is the fraction that I wanted because that compares the intensity of the headphones to the intensity of the chainsaw. Now I just need to manipulate it so that I have this fraction equals something. So this log is to the base of 10, right? Yeah, it's, this is the logarithm to the base of 10. So I'm just going to divide out first this 10 from both sides, get rid of that. Okay, so that gives me 2.5 equals log IH over IC. Can you convert that to exponential form? What would it be? 10 to the power of 2.5 equals the ratio that I wanted to compare. Nice! Okay, 10 to the 2.5 Punch it up for me real quick. Somebody. Three sixteen point two three. Okay, so we'll just round it to three three hundred sixteen. So what's this what's this saying? A bunch of mumbo jumbled two hands. Three hundred the headphones cranked to the max volume is three hundred sixteen times louder than the chainsaw.